guys, this is Hunter from Mama Hunter, so thank you for tuning in to today's episode. It is Wednesday the 19th, and I just wanted to say I'm very sorry I haven't been able to upload for the, for the last couple of days. Computer's hard drive got corrupted, and I had to get another computer, so very sorry about that. Um, you know, it was really unexpected, and I'm very sorry. And um, I just want to say real quick that Jimmy isn't going to be able to upload for the next couple of days. He is really busy with stuff. So um, I am going to have to repay the favor and go ahead and upload for him for the next couple of days. So I think he has a couple of videos already made and stuff. But if just in case, um, you know, he's not you know, done doing whatever he's doing and stuff, I mean, I'm going to have to upload. So if you hear from me for the next couple of days, um, just don't be surprised. He will be back soon. I know he won't take forever, hopefully, but, um, um, you know, just, just expect to hear from me the next couple of days. So, what today I'm going to be doing is, something real simple, it's going to be on Minecraft, as you can see, and I'm thinking about doing, like, something like a basic, basic TNT run, almost. Now, well, I mean, this type of TNT run might be different from what you guys think a TNT run is, but, um... Some people thought this was a cool gesture that I made or cool thing I made because I was playing on a server with some people and they thought um, I should do a YouTube video about it, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what you're going to need is a bedrock, some bedrock um, to avoid the explosions. You're going to need some TNT and a pressure plate at least. Now you can add some rewards at the end or whatever, but I mean that's up to you. First things first, is clearing some space. So make it um, pretty long is what I would say um, about this. Would a you're gonna have to experiment with the sizes here. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, and then you're gonna want to go three, um, four spaces over, and put another row, the same length. Now, clear out all the stuff that you might have in the middle. I mean, you're not gonna need it at all. Uh, hold on. Got a new computer, new controls because I have to download this again. So get rid of all that. In the middle. Okay, now you're going to want to put a solid stripe down the middle of what we call bedrock. Now just replace the floor. Whatever, like for um, plugins for servers and stuff, you can do this. I don't have a server running at the moment, so I can't really do that. But just replace the floor really quickly. These two sides of bedrock. The only reason I'm having you put bedrock down, you can use obsidian. Um, bedrock and obsidian are both. Um, well, the thing is, bedrock is indestructible, except for in creative mode, of course. But um, you can only destru destroy it by you actually trying to like do that and can only be done in a creative mode um, obsidian um, on the other hand can be just um, can be you know blown up so this is why I prefer that you guys use um, a bedrock now just build this about let's see one. you're gonna want to build it one two three four high on both sides but not the middle the middle you just leave alone Now you're probably wondering that this is a weird, why I'm having you do it like this. You'll see, we're going to fill the rest in. Now, um, I know I have played some TNT run games that are way different than um, what you guys are thinking that I'm probably going to be making. Um, basically what this one is, is um, 
it's a different type of TNT run. You're actually trying to get to the end of the hallway before all the TNT explodes. And you have to do it in survival. So, it's kind of a fun little mini game that you can make. Go ahead to the hallway. And just build one block in like this. Leave, um, leave it to where there's a middle blank in this one. So it should look like this when you're finished. Now what you're going to do is want to cover up one end. Not completely, I guess. I mean, you have to have some way of getting out. Um, so yeah, cover up one end just like so. Just to where it's like this. You're going to have to do this to the other side as well. Just um, don't do it exactly this way. Now you're going to want to build out a couple of blocks. And you're going to want to build it like in this L shape. reason why when you build it in like an L shape almost is because you want to be able to run around the corner and avoid getting hit if you do make it. So this will prevent that very thing from happening. Uh, let me build a little extension right here. It's You can build this however you want, the ending. I just prefer that you do it like that to where there's a corner to where you can avoid being hit. You can make like a little um, exit thing right here to where, um, let's say once you're done or whatever, and you may, if you make it um, through the actual game, that you will be rewarded. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little thing right here. Basically just does that. A small chest or whatever in it. So let's go ahead and look for a chest right there. Get some torches. We're also going to want to pick up an iron door. Hold on. So sorry about that, but uh, as I was saying, just get a chest, put whatever you want in it. You can put a torch here. Um, what I would do is put a pressure plate right here with an iron door. So that way, people can only exit um, that way. They can't go in. Now, as I said, you're going to want to cover up this right here. But just do it to where it looks like this right here you're just going to want it to work something like that now what we're going to do in all these empty spaces that you see that's where the dynamite goes especially the ceiling right here and please Because I have people where they put in the TNT, and as soon as they found the TNT, I mean, as soon as they found the TNT, every piece of TNT they've put down pretty much explodes, and all their pressure plates are gone, and everything. Bedrock, all the pieces of TNT that you put down will. Is that you have to reload the TNT every time. So, so you have your TNT loaded like this. I put a light or something, and then from the edge right here, put pressure plates on every single block leading up, except for about three, so you can get like a sprint or something. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to run to the other side without dying. 
Now this might not be a long enough design, but um, it should do it. So let me go ahead and get out creative. And now we're in here. So once I pretty much hit this, we're gonna start. It didn't destroy our barriers, but now this is a very, very short design. You're gonna have to make this a lot longer, but as you can see, you, you get my point. And you can go and click whatever you, re whatever you won, and you can go ahead and exit and that's your mini game. Um, quick, short, simple. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please stay tuned for no more episodes. Um, I'll. I think Jimmy might have a video posted to upload here soon, so stay tuned for that. I will be making videos in the near future, so um, this is Hunter from All Matters. Check out uh, some of our other videos. I'm sure you'll be pleased with them. Comment right and subscribe on this video. Tell me what you thought in the description. Do you like the Minecraft series? Do you think I should do any other series? Let me know in the description. Well, this is Hunter from All Matters, and as always, I'm <laughs>